You want to try any of them? You're live. No, we're not live right now. Yes, yeah, we're live. Uh, don't worry, nobody will watch this. I don't even have a beer. beer. I have lots of beers. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Yellow Banner and a Beardy. Right now, Jeremy. Alicia's behind the camera. Mm -hmm. um, what one do you want to start with? I will start with this Tabula Rosa. Which I'm pretty sure is from a Buffy episode, Tabula Rosa. It means a blank slate. Brewery is uh, Double May Care here in Winnipeg. <laughs> <laughs> it is 5.5% uh, alcohol. It's a. Uh... Sorry. Don't be sorry. I just want some beer. Uh, wheat. Beer with hibiscus. You want any? No, I'm good. Okay, there you are. Jinkway. So, hazy crazy. Yeah. A little bit of floral notes. It is actually very floral. It's the hibiscus. It is the hibiscus. Coffee That's what gave the uh, color to. Coffee snob says hi, It's right? funny how you can compare Hey, coffee with, snob. How are you tonight? Like beer to wine. Little molasses flavor on the forefront, very floral on the back end, little bready biscuitiness. This is nice, clean, easy drinking. This isn't a bad beer. Barzo, barzo, vish, twice like a barzo dobre, dobre pivo. Sure. I have no <laughs> idea what you just said. Well, it's good, to means very good beer. Out of 10? Stop. What would you give it out of 10? Mm, seven. Seven. I'd probably give that a 7.5 myself. Uh, again, Devil May Care here in Winnipeg. We've got a few more beers from Winnipeg. Um, next would be Fort Gary. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the Cranberry Crush. It's a Rattler. So Cranberry Rattler. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a tacky people. From Fort Gary Brewing Company. Now, everything I've had by them so far has been fairly buttery. It's been full of diacetyl, so I'm a little worried about this. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Uh, 3.5% alcohol. Oh, that was my eyeball. You don't use those anyways. <laughs> Do you want some Cranberry Crush? No, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> Coffee Snob says he's drinking a, or she's drinking a bone shaker right now, and not bad, just it's washing corners and a crush, a beautiful pink hued effervescent Rattler. And I like Rattler. And then I like the head is pink too. I like pink head. <laughs> bone shaker's a nice IPA. Alicia would hate it. I hate IPAs. They're gross. People need it to smell like cranberry them. juice. Mm -hmm. Actually. <laughs> It tastes like cranberry juice. But it's all smash now. Almost like like ocean spray. It even has that sweetness yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a taki bar do smash ne pivo. It is a hit. Um, yes. For those few Polish viewers we have, yeah, you'll like, know what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is bar do smash ne. And it doesn't have the buttery taste, I'll give it that. Yeah. The buttery taste that comes with all the other Fort Gary beers I've had, not there. But there is an almost like dirty sink water in it, and that's at the very back end. <laughs> that being said, I don't mind this. I'd probably give it a seven. No. It's easy to drink, it's nice, it's fresh, it's refreshing. Dlanya Oshem. Oshem Popolsku, eight. Eight? Okay. We've got two more to get through. Okay. Drink up, boys. Happy Divorce Day. Happy Divorce Day, Dlamnia. Did somebody say that on there? No. I said that. Okay. So this is a beer made in Manitoba for Manitobans. So maybe we're not going to like it. We're not Manitobans. This is a Red Roof Lager. <laughs> it's 5% alcohol by volume. Uh, who the fuck actually even brews this? Salisbury House. Oh, brewed by Fort Gary. Okay, this is going to be... So, Salisbury House is a restaurant here in town. Uh, Fort Gary did that beer, so I have slightly high hopes. Slightly. 
But I've also had like six beers from them who were butter bombs. I've also seen Salisbury House. It's not really something that gives me a lot of faith. I'm worried. I am. Yeah, we walked through the Salisbury House, didn't we? There, and we walked by room. it on the way to Half Pints. Oh, yeah. Already smell it. A little bit of diacetyl. Golden pea color. That's a description. Almost no head, favorite. that's weird too. Like. The Yedims does not shears? So does not your head. Yep, that's a butter bomb. What does that mean in English? Um, in get, English, butter bomb. You get that slightly like movie theater popcorn butter taste? Oh, tuck, tuck. So uh, tuck. that that means that there is tuck. a brewing fault in it. They didn't. They didn't. Uh, it's usually a boil issue. They didn't boil long enough. Tuck. Okay, I understand. Sir Jamie Lannister says drinking a black tusk chocolate milk <laughs> ale from Whistler. And I've had some nice black tusks. Daenerys Targaryen is my home girl. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a t-shirt today, and I have a fucking, like, a, like, Targaryen thing. She was the best character in that show. She was the best. And I am also the best. Actually, I would argue that Tyrion Lannister is the best character. Yeah, I like No, you know what? Targaryens were the best. I'm not saying which house is the best. I'm just saying pure character. Tyrion okay, was the best. Whatever. <laughs> I love you too, Chad. <laughs> uh, I don't love this butterbeer. <laughs> I'll go dump it out. I cannot do that. Sure we, can. we cannot do that. Are we on camera? Mm -hmm. Still? Mm -hmm. There's four okay. people currently watching. So that was uh, Red Roof Lager. Brewed for the Salisbury House by Fort Gary Brewing Company. Uh, I'd probably give that a 5 out of 10. It's not horrible. There's nothing s like super wrong with it. There's nothing that turns my stomach. It's just, it's buttery and it, it's, it's, it's bitter. Yourself? Um, it tastes very good. Like, I'm not, I, I'm not one of these people that, that is all snobby about beer. Um, but. Not wine either, according to that Copper Moon beer bottle of don't be rude. Don't be rude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like I like beer, and I like this beer. It's not my favorite beer. Okay, that's that's fine. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like uh, uh, I I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Everybody that's on here right now, say hi to Jeremy. Hi. Yes, the Polakim. You know. <sighs> Polska. Okay, the last beer I pulled out isn't a Manitoba beer. I know I titled this Manitoba beer. This one's from Hawaii. Hawaii? Yeah, from the Maui Brewing Company. Ugh. So it is 6% alcohol. It is the Coconut Hiwa. 6%. It's a coconut Ugh. porter. Oh, Joe. Joe, if you watch this, this might have all the coconut, Joe. Joe likes coconut. <laughs> he gets all excited and he's from he's from North Canawanda, so when he gets going, he's like, oh my god, it's got so much coconut, it's got all the coconut. No, you I don't know. Do you want to try some of the coconut porter? No, I'm good. Really, I thought you'd jump on that one. That's a lot of head. So you had one beer with no That's head. That's what he said. <laughs> usually I give them up. That, that's too much. You usually complain about the amount of head you get. So and you're putting this on video. It's <laughs> <laughs> worse than that video. Bestial nosh. Okay, so as black as the black blood of the earth. <laughs> dark, dark, deep. Well, that's a nice head. It's big, it's black, it's dark. 
<laughs> like nothing I'll ever do in my life. I'm just sitting here talking about big black head. It's all good. It's not a good thing. She's told me that's a rumor. It is a rumor. She's filming us doing awful things. It doesn't smell great. I expected more coconut on the nose. I mean, it's a porter, so it shouldn't be roasted, but that's that's roasty and toasty. Uh. Roasty, toasty, a little bit of, like, black coffee. <laughs> oh, Coffee Snob wants to know if you give a rating for bone sugar. Um, okay, before I get to that, there's not really any coconut in this, so I'm not... Here, here's the thing with coconut, right? Coconut is a hard thing to brew with uh, a lot of times unless awful, you use... Awful, awful, awful. Unless you use uh, extracts, you're not going to get a lot of flavor off of it. Mm. Or if, unless you roast a whole bunch of it and use it in the secondary, you're not going to get a lot of flavor on it. Uh, being that they are Hawaiian, I would figure they know how to brew with coconut, but there's not really much coconut flavor at all in it. It's just mostly roasty, toasty, dark, dank, um, dirty. It's dirt. It's like I just chewed on a mud pie. It just dirt in my mouth. Uh, that being said, is it the worst thing I've ever had? No, I've had a lot worse. Uh, to answer you, coffee snob, yeah, I did. I enjoyed bone shaker when I had it. Uh, I'd have to watch the video again to see, or have my phone in my hand to look it up, but I, I believe it was around an 8 that I gave it. Um, Fracture was even better, though. Fracture was the imperial version of Bone Shaker. Really good beer, too. This, not so much. What do you think? <laughs> it's, it's pretty bitter. Okay, soft carbonation and soft mouthfeel, which is weird for the amount of head I got off of it. There's not a lot of carbonation. It's pretty, it, it's pretty bitter. Yeah, it's, it's like chewing a stick. Yeah. It's, uh, for those that, uh, it, it's almost like, like a barrel I'm, aged. I'm, like, I'm stuck dealing with this. It's almost like a barrel aged beer in where you get that, like, oak tongue depressor taste in the back of your throat <laughs> when you go to the doctor. It's not the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I actually like porters. Those are my, one of my favorite styles. <laughs> this is the worst beer. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry. The longer you hang out with me, the more I'm the sorry, I'm sorry. I'm have. sorry, Chad. No, you're allowed to not like it. I, it Trust me, there's like... lots of beers I don't like, and I straight up say it. Okay, but am, am I going to be on the internet for, you're like, forever? Mm-hmm. Oh, go. And you love the beer, right? Maui Brewing Company does no. amazing. No. <laughs> <laughs> My mother hates me. So, uh, yeah, this Coconut Hiwa, we were at the Liquor Mart here in, well, down the street from us. And I got excited when I saw this. Actually, you got excited too. You were like, oh, look, a coconut porter. And, yeah, I'm not all that excited now that I've had it. That being said, here's how I'd put it. I'd rather drink the butter beer from Salisbury House than the coconut porter. Uh, so we've had I've had two beers that I really really liked. One that was meh, and one that I don't all that much care for. Um, out of ten, I would like a better beer. That <laughs> better beer out of ten? Yeah. Um, my None self, of these are good. Myself, I don't know. I'd probably give it a five again. It's nothing wrong with the brewing. It's just not something I like. Um, well, you have the camera. Go pick another beer. Go pick us out one more beer. Really? Yeah. Oy. Take the camera with you. I don't know if Jeremy can handle another beer. Yeni isn't full problem. So to the internet, anything you want to say, talk about, anything like that, we're good. Where'd, Where'd you put them? them? They're in the fridge.
What did you pick? Oh, the sour from Nova Scotia. Okay. We have Pucker Up. Uh, Garrison Brewing Company, so this is uh, Halifax, I believe. I'm just trying to look on here for it. Uh, Yep, uh, yep. Halifax, Nova Scotia. So this is rose hip and cranberry. 473 milliliters, 4.9% alcohol. So this one we just picked up tonight as well. I find it hysterical how many beers from like Nova Scotia and stuff ended up in Manitoba. They cross right through Ontario, but they don't go to Ontario stores. They go to Manitoba stores. Oh look, pink head again. That's a deep, deep red beard. <laughs> Why are you, what are you doing over there? Trying to take my hair tie out. I could have done it with my teeth later. I don't want you to ruin my hair tie. <laughs> Smells like cranberry. Actually. Sniff. Tell me if you smell like Swedish berries, because that's what I get. Yes, this is exactly what I smell. <laughs> it smells amazing. Did it taste good, though? You already took a sip. Mm. <laughs> oh. No, I, I can't be on the okay. camera. Okay, that is... That's a mixture of, like, Swedish berries and, like, perm chemical. You get that, uh, oh yeah, you get that astringent, weird taste in the mm -hmm. back of the throat. But it's Swedish berries up at the forefront. The front of the beer is fucking amazing. It's it's Swedish berries. Oh, it's got sulfites in it, though. No, it's a it's a sour, so it's it's kettle sour. And a lot of times when you kettle sour with the lactobacillus, it tastes to me like like perm chemical and uh, oh. like. Here, take a sip. No. Yeah, take a no. sip. No. Take a sip. No. No. Alicia, take a sip. Now, for those of you that don't understand why that's my paradigm to lactobacillus, uh, my mother had a hair salon in the basement. My room was in the basement. So I would go to sleep after wrestling practice. I'd fall asleep and I'd wake up to that just disgusting, clingy taste in the back of my throat as she was perming some, like, 90-year-old lady's hair. And I remember that taste. And when I get that type of stuff, that's what I taste. And no, sulfites come off as, as like, rubber, right? Like, latex. Condom. Or, yeah, chewing on a condom. Uh, Austin Grover says, hello, albino, big longtime fan. I was wondering what you're up to. Is reviewing beers your main thing? <laughs> um, what we're up to is a big old move from Ontario to uh, Nunavik. That's what, that's what we're up to, and good day, Austin. This uh, will be our new neighbor. This will be our new neighbor. When we get up to Nunavik, we are, Jeremy. we are currently in Winnipeg, Manitoba on training, and then we're, we're moving up to northern Quebec, uh, mm -hmm. the Nunavik region. I was hoping to go to Nunavik, to be honest. Like, that's where I wanted to go. Well, you're going to Nunav Nunavik. Yeah. Oh, um, excited for a new, a new start, a new change. Um, before this, you know, I did, I did my beer festival, I did my beer reviewing, I did beer judging, and I, I worked at the casino, so, in Niagara Falls. Um, yeah, moving on, changing things. I'm a little sad, I get to, I'm missing the Can-Am beer festival in Niagara Falls on Tuesday. They're doing it on a fucking Tuesday. Who has a beer festival on a Tuesday? But yeah, I'm, I'm a little sad I'm missing that, but hey. And Coffee Snob says he's been watching you for 10 years. Love stop, you. Stop. Stop. What? What's up? Stop. <laughs> Is that right over there? No. No? Stop. Oop. 